Let us say uprightness. Integrity is the expression of God's character revealed in you and me. And that character is the beauty of his perfection, his holiness. Holiness is the essence of his nature. It is not something he does or doesn't do. It is who he is. It is the same for you and I. It is who we are. It is who we are. The days of coming in church, I honestly believe that if we say one thing and leave something else, God is going to expose it. Yeah. He's had enough. Because he's coming back, back soon. And the Bible tells me that he's coming for a perfect spotless bride. And the day's coming where he's going to expose his sons and da daughters for saying one thing and leaving something else. Holiness is called. We are holy because the nature of God is in us. Yeah? Not to do with ourselves, but because the nature of God is in us. It begins with a heart separating unto God and becomes evident in the Christ nature expressed through you and I. Does that make sense? I'll repeat that. It begins with a heart separating unto God and becomes evident in the Christ nature expressed through us. That's what integrity is. Creativity means the state or quality of being creative. The ability to, to transcend traditional ideas, rules, patterns, relationships, or the like. It means to create meaningful new ideas forms, methods, interpretations, originality, progressiveness, imagination. It also means the process by which one utilises creative ability. It's originality, imagination, inspiration, ingenuity, inventiveness, resourcefulness, Creativeness, creative vision. That's what creativity is. And God has put that in every one of us. Every single person God has put that in. For some of us, it takes years to get out of this, doesn't it, mate? I know how you feel. It takes years to come out. I've said many times, if my old school mates could see me and understand up here today, or put the internet on the scene, they wouldn't believe it to me. I, I wouldn't believe it to me myself. I keep on pinching myself to give it to me. <laughs> Creativity will not only be seen in a full restoration of the arts, because that's what people think, creativity is all, is all arts, but it isn't. Creativity is the nature of his people, the church, expressed in finding new and better ways to do the things in any area of our influence. That's what it means. You and I, God has put a seat in each one of us to make a difference to our world, to influence everything around us. Isn't that amazing? The church for so long has fallen into the rut of predictability and cordage, and cordage tradition. In other words, it's religion. It's sad. Pastor, we've always done it this, this way. That's probably why you're nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> the church must reveal who our God is through creative expression. Joy, praise, honesty. Be joyful. Fancy being at Devon Jones' wedding and all being miserable yesterday. The people that come into mind that come to our church again. Aren't they? They probably think the pastor's mad, but everybody else was happy. <laughs> but the amazing thing, the church often finds it hard to change. Why? Because of 
because of tradition. We've always done it this way. They've said you've always done it this way. But the God who created you and me shall bear his likeness, which means you and I should be creative. Wow. That should be easy, shouldn't it? Excellence. Excellence means the fact or state of excelling. Eminence, superiority, an excellent quality or feature, fineness, brilliance, superiority, distinction, quality and merit. Excellence is the high standard set for personal achievement because of who we are in God and who God is in us. Does that make sense? Excellence is the high standard set for personal achievement because of who we are in God and who God is in us. But don't be mistaken with perfectionism. Okay? Don't never mistake excellence with perfectionism. It is not the same as perfectionism at all. Perfectionism is the cruel counterfeit of excellence, which flows from the religious spirit. You got that? Perfectionism is not the same as excellence. Excellence is from God. Perfectionism isn't. Perfectionism is the cruel counterfeit of excellence which flows from a religious spirit. None of us are perfect. Can you understand that I'm saying? None of us are perfect. We cannot obtain perfection until the day we meet God face to face. And I don't know about you, but I've, I've, I've worked for people. The Japanese, their style is to get perfection. So they have something, I think Ian done, what was that thing that you done when you done uh, that course down you went down, what was it called, the computer thing? It was a number. That's six. That's six. Six. Six sigma. It's trying to get as near perfection as possible, isn't it? It's impossible. But that's what perfectionism is. But we